Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can export event data from the backend side or from the WP admin side. So for this, you will require our export events add-on to be installed and activated in the website. And then you can visit our event manager dashboard. So here we will be able to see all of the our events listed over here. And if you installed and activated the plugin or the add-on correctly, you will able to see a new button right beside the add new button over here that will say download events CSV. Unless your website isn't using English as default, otherwise it would be download events CSV in your regional language or the language you are using for your website. So let's click on this button and we will see a event export file getting downloaded to our computer in CSV format. So as you can see, we have a download called events.csv that we can open using a sheet processing program. In my case, I'm using Microsoft Excel. So as you can see, we will have a lot of fields over here alongside with their values. So each entries over here represents one event. So as you can see, we have total six events over here. So six entries and six events over here as well. So let me go ahead and explain some fields over here probably most of them and don't worry if you install some custom plugins that extends the event functionalities a bit further they will get included this in this export as well right so let's say uh, firstly we have cancelled so this means uh, either it's one or zero so that's a boolean value but in a numeric form so zero means false and one means true right so cancelled we have all of the events as active so none of them have cancelled as of now we have featured so you will see bunch of ones over here and bunch of zeros so the ones means those events are featured so those are true values as zeros means they are not featured so those are false values then we have edit log you do not really need to worry about this field over here event expiry so the event expiry date for our events edit last you do not need to worry about this field as well but this csv file will export all the meta alongside with the data for the event as well so you will have a better control on what you are exporting and what you are not this file can be used for a backup purpose as well right so then we have event online here we can expect two values only so that's yes or no pretty self-explanatory whether yes means the event is online event or no means it's an offline event right so event location so you will see the event location or the address for the event over here then we have our event pin code so if you have entered a pin code if your event is offline while you are submitting the event you will see the event pin code over here event banner so this will include the url to the image you have used for the event banner so this is a just thumbnail uh, you can just ignore that and then we have our registration so this will be the email address included for registration query right so that's available in the event submission form as well and then we have event video url another form field from our event submission as you can see we have our event start date and event start time as we have our event ended and event end type pretty much self-explanatory i don't have to explain that as well i believe and then we have our event registration deadline and event organizer id then we have our event venue id event zoom id so this zoom id is coming from if you are installed the zoom add-on for wp event manager and if you embedded a meeting into the event that zoom meeting id will show up over here so then we have our view count how many people viewed our event till this point and then we have our paid ticket details over here they will get included as well in a json format free ticket details and donation ticket so then we have our event ticket options our registration limit over here then we have our geolocation data and then we have our geolocation city geolocation state these all are coming from the google maps add-on so this geolocation data over here and then we have our wp old slug so that's the permalink and then we have our event recurrence data so if you have installed our event recurring plugin they will show up over here as well lastly we have our all the other recurring data for our event so as you can see we have our basic event details here as well on the export file and we have 
all the other extended functions for our event as well such as recurrence such as uh, google maps registration or the ticket data and that's pretty much it actually so these fields over here are available because i have installed and played with those add-ons in this website for another video regarding those add-ons as well individually so those are being included over here as well I hope this gave you a basic idea about what to expect when you export a CSV file using export events add-on from the website and open it in a sheet processing program. So that's pretty much concludes this video. That's how you export a CSV file for your events and view the event data in this sheet. You can even like select out these events over here to download only selected events as a CSV file as well. So that's pretty much wraps it up for this video. Thank you for watching. I'm Shadat signing off and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you for watching. I'm Shadat signing off and I'll catch you in the next one.